Hey, it's Jim Mueller with the American Outdoorsman Report. Everybody knows to catch fish, you need a rod and reel. But the real key to success is what's in your tackle box. Here's a rare look inside AO Pro Staffer Mark Tobin's tackle box as he talks about his favorite crappie lures. And what I'm using today, now this water is, is muddy. As you can see, I probably only got maybe six inches of visibility. In that type of condition, I like to use a head with a blade on it. And I prefer willow leaf blades. They're long and narrow, and you can work these extremely slow, and that blade will wobble in the water. You get a lot better action moving these things slow with a willow blade than you do with a Colorado or an Indiana blade. <clears throat> I also, now it's sunny. On a sunny day, I, I like a silver blade. But on cloudy days, I like to use a white blade. And these are number two. I might even go up to a number three willow leaf if the water is very muddy. Well, those are two good ones for muddy water. Now this is a smaller blade. I'll move up to a number three as well if I've got any less visibility. But these blades seem a little bit bigger than traditional, but you'll get bigger fish on these bigger blades. And what I'm tipping that with right now, during the spawn, I like tube jigs. This is a big tube, bigger than traditional crappie jigs. Um, lures with a lot of action like a twister tail. This time of year when they're close to spawning, a lot of times you'll get short bites and you'll miss them. A tube jig, you won't miss quite as many bites. Like I've said before, I don't know anybody that can catch more crappie than Mark Tobin, but I do have to question his theory on this next clip. There it is, oh, whoa, that's another male. He's, well, not big, but they are so scrappy. You just gotta wonder how little fish like that can hit a lure so hard. I th they must come up and look at the lure and then take off swim about 10 yards the other direction and then come at a full speed and hit it with all they got to make a hit feel that hard. <laughs> oh gosh. Hmm, I don't know, Mark. I'm gonna have to see that to believe it. I'm Jim Mueller. That's the American Outdoorsman Report, and remember, you are the American Outdoorsman.